Hey, hey guys. guys, it's Joseph and Tasha from One Big Happy, and today we are doing a review on the Zo XLC Best V2. It's a travel stroller because we need one because we're going to Singapore, and we wanted something that was super portable because not only are we going to Singapore, but we are training to New York. We have a long layover in Japan, so we're gonna do some, see some sights in Japan. So we're gonna be on the move. So we need a stroller that can be on the go with us that's quick, easy, and light. So Joseph did a lot of research on this. Here it is. I did enough research. So unboxing, here we go. If you are in the market for a travel stroller and you've looked at them, there are not very many options aside from, like there's a whole bunch of umbrella strollers, but if you want one that can fold up into carry-on size, that is harder to find. Also, and, we wanted one that reclined. Like yes. That, so that Reeves can sleep on the go. Because we know we're gonna be jet lagged. He's gonna have some unusual naps, we just know. And we don't wanna necessarily go back to the hotel every time for him to nap. So this one reclines, and so that I, to my knowledge, this is the this is just the best one out there with all those features. And they have a pretty awesome in-home trial policy too. Right, they let you try it out in your home. You you can't take it out and about, but if you don't like it, you can ship it back for a ten dollar flat fee. Which for something that, and this is for all of their strollers, and so you know that's. 10, 15 pounds of weight, that's normally not a free return because it's so, and it's also big, but, but they have a great policy. And then they sell these discounted after people have tried them out if for whatever reason it didn't work for them. So it's, this is a discounted one that yes. someone else tried and sent back. So it saved us what, 30 bucks, something it like did. that? Save, I think it saved $30. All right, so we have a rain cover. We did get a rain cover because it is monsoon season in Singapore right now. But here is the stroller. And the wheels are not on there. This Oh, it's a cup holder, which our current stroller doesn't have. It doesn't have a cup holder. Like, I didn't know strollers came without those. Opening the stroller. You're supposed to open it before you put the wheels on? Yeah. Okay. Push and hold the safety lock lever. Hey. padding off first. It doesn't say anything about it. Okay. Safety lock. A, slide it to the left, press this. Oh. Wait, what? It's together, that's it. Yeah, so. That's it. Check that out. Okay, front wheel assembly. Now let's see the back on this. Does it matter which one's which? Uh, it doesn't say. So yeah, that, that is it. I kind of wish it came down a little bit more because I feel like with a baby sleeping here and the sun coming here. Oh, that's a pretty low angle. That. It does, oh, untap yeah. it, then I'll go again. Where is it? Did I miss it? Oh, ha, huh, okay, yeah, that's cool. I knew it did that. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I mean, this is pretty light. I'm gonna stand up. Yeah, I mean, that feels pretty good. Wait, are you gonna like- Well, you never know. You're... Like you just gotta dot, you're playing dodgeball with the baby in the stroller? Well, I do this all the time with Reeves. I mean, that seems pretty good. Where does the adult cup holder go? It's up here, like one on the side. Sweet. But there's no kid cup holder. There is not a kid cup holder on this one. Oh. This is the travel version, not a full size one. Oh. Okay. So they do so they do make one that does have cup holders and some other accessories, but it is bigger and heavier. Okay. 
So very it's similar. A pretty good padding. It has a five. Oh, that's cool. So they can kind of. Well, you're going out depending on how, how big they are. And that's easily adjusted there. Let's see here, too. Wait, okay. That's pretty typical. Yeah, that's what. That's the exact kind of. Is that the farthest up it goes? It seems like it. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. It's a travel stroller, right? There, there really isn't that much to it, but it does have, you know, a five, an adjustable five-point harness that seems like it's, it'll be pretty easy to, yeah, to adjust things. All of the straps are here on top. It's pretty good. It can hold 50 pounds, so a pretty big kit can sit in this yeah. thing. It is very, very sturdy. It's not all wobbly like a little umbrella stroller. It has and a brake on the back, which is nice. Parking brake, has a little cargo pocket. Um, of course, it does have this rain fly. No. That, this was extra, but we knew monsoon season. Come here. Come on, Let's try come it. Here. Let's yeah. try it. Special seat for Reeves. Lock on. Come on, let's try it. Bring that with you. All right, big boy. small enough. So to quickly compare this to one of the high-end luxury strollers that you may come across when you are searching for travel strollers, the Baby Zen Yo-Yo. That thing is like $500. That's more than double what this costs, including the rain shield and the strap that we bought separately on Amazon. They're about the same size. This weighs, this is like half an inch bigger on one on the length. This weighs two, was it two pounds less? Yes, two pounds less than their lowest weight. It can go up even more where it's three or four pounds less. 
This reclines. It has, like, to me, it appears the storage area is at least as big, if not bigger, than the Baby San Yo Yo. Um, the maneuverability was great. It has front wheel suspension. Not that I think that that matters that much. I mean, it's a travel stroller, okay? It's not, you're not, it's not your jogging stroller. You're not going to go jogging with it. Mm -hmm. Not very well. <laughs> yeah, so I, I don't think that the front suspension or the suspension in general will have that much of an impact unless you know you're going, like, to down cobblestone paths for days and days on end. But generally, for the value, I think this is all anyone would ever need in terms of a travel stroller. I think so too. And it's it's not the cheapest out there, like the umbrella strollers are cheaper, but but I think for all the features that it has, and you could definitely use this as a daily stroller, and this could be the one stroller that you have, at least from toddler size. Uh, but you'll be able to see all the fun that we have with it in Singapore. So stay tuned for that. Yep. All right. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.